In this video, we're going to look at how to set a start point on a profile as well as on a pocket. Now, we'll see we have a simple shape drawn here. Now, to set a start point, we must contour. Now, this only goes for profile and contours to use, be used on all profile cuts. What that does is that sets a direction of cut as well as also a start point. So then we come to other, then contour. You'll see that we get several options for contour. We could either go clockwise or counterclockwise. We'll go clockwise. And we also get a choice for the change beginning. We could either set the longest to start, which allows the software when we select the shape and then say OK to determine the start point based on the longest section or the longest individual line or arc. Let's undo. And we'll use selected start point. Now what this does is this will allow us to select the start point. The easiest way to do this is to hold down the shift key and select the end of the last line of cut. So let's say that this arc on this side will be the end of cut. We'll hold shift and click on it, then choose OK. And we can see that our start point then occurs right where we chose the end of the cut. Now to move the start point so that it's not at the end or beginning of a line, there must be a break there. It has to start at the start of a line. So let's undo. Let's say that we want our start point in the center of this line. Now we can see here that we have a break there. So you must place a break wherever you want the start point. Now we have a solid arc all the way across the top. Let's say that we want to start cutting right at this point here. So we'll come to Utilities, Break, Screen. And I'll just pick the line and then pick where I want the break. Now if there's a break in the geometry, we come to Other, then Contour. Now if we use the select start point automatic, hold shift and pick the end of this arc here, and then select OK, we can see that's where our start point for cutting is going to be. Now if we're to pocket this, I'm going to undo the contour. We do not want to contour this shape for a pocket. Now to set start points for pockets, what must be done is a point must be drawn wherever the start or the entry move is wanted. We come here, point arc center and I'll choose this arc so we could say this is where our start point for the pocketing routine will be come to cam tree we'll right click milling stock go to mill to access pocketing now pocketing gives the option of a start point in the cam tree we'll right click start point and choose reselect we'll pick the point we'll select the geometry for the pocket and we'll compute the tool path now we could see where our start point had occurred because we had selected the start point. Now in the event of the profile, we have to set that contour, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to delete the pocket. We'll come here to contour. We'll go clockwise, we'll use the selected start point, and we'll use this break over here. Now when we right click milling stock, go to mill to access, profiling. We'll select the geometry, and we'll edit the toolpath. We'll put a couple of leads so that we can see where the start point is pretty easily. We'll compute the toolpath. Now we could see where our start point ended up wherever the contour was set, where the arrow is. If we want to change that, we can undo our contour, place a break, wherever we want the start point to occur, set the contour, reselect our geometry, and then recompute the toolpath, and it'll update to where the start location is on the contour. And that concludes this video.